welcome to another edition of Loop Tips by Flow Components. On today's episode, we're looking at single block progressive metering valves in automatic lubrication systems, how they function, and some of the things you should watch out for when you're designing a system or servicing one of these valves. With more on that, we go to Mike. Mike? Thanks, Gabriel. Today we're going to talk about the one pace progressive metering block, otherwise known as the SSD metering block. To begin with, I'm going to be using this plastic valve to show the operation of the one-piece valve. The operation of the pistons, just like a waterfall, they are moving back and forth. As lubricant flows through the ports, these pistons shuttle back and forth. What this allows is as fast or as much lubricant as you want to put through, or as slow, it works in a series like a waterfall or a series progressive system. Before piston two can move, piston one has to move, and so on. If we turn the valve apart around, you're going to see plugs on the one side. Those plugs are only for the end plugs of the piston areas. The others are the actual outlets for your feed lines going to the bearing points. As you can see by looking at this plastic valve, we can have either push to connect fittings or NPT fittings threaded into this valve body going to your bearing points. One feature of the single piece progressive valve is what is called the cross porting feature. This allows you to adjust the output going to a bearing by moving these plugs. What actually happens is if you can see these cross porting channels connecting up each outlet, the fitting itself requires a ferrule that ferrule, when it threads in, blocks that cross-porting channel so the lubricant can only go one way and that is out to your bearing point. By taking this out and putting in a plug, what this allows it to do is the lubricant then goes down to the next outlet and out. On this side of the plastic valve, we show one outlet here and then the next two outlets are piggybacked or cross-ported down to the bottom. So when you're looking at ratios, the bearing being fed by this outlet is getting three times as much lubricant as the bearing fed by the top one. Using the same plastic valve, we have modified it in the way of moving the plug and the fitting around to different outlets. One thing that you need to be aware of with the one-piece valve and the cross-porting is ports one and two are the two farthest away from the inlet. If the inlet is here, the two farthest points, one here and one here, have to be working. As you can tell, there is no cross porting connecting the bottom outlets to anywhere. So by putting in a plug, what you're essentially doing is you're plugging the system. Again, operating like a progressive valve, any plug, any blockage in line or bearing not taking grease will stall this piston, which will stall the next one, stall the next one, giving you indication you have a problem. The end result being the system will shut down. In conclusion, the single piece block utilizes the single line progressive operating principle. One key note though is the two farthest outlets away from the inlet of the valve have to be working. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Back to you, Gabriel. <coughs> Thanks for that, Mike. We hope you've enjoyed today's show. For more information and tips, check out our website, flowcomponents.com. Until next time, thanks for watching.